ladies and gentlemen, Tony over here just uh, signing his life away. I'm sorry. Unbelievable. Look at this. Oh, good. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Let's redo that. My bad. Uh, three, two, one. Hey, how's it going, there ladies go. and gentlemen? Welcome to another episode of Talking Trends for Monday, March the 12th. Had to triple check my phone. Yep. See where we're at in the when year 2018. How you doing today, Facebook? How was your weekend? Was it good? Was everybody's weekend good? Thumbs up? Safe weekend for everybody, I'm sure. I hope so. Weather was a little wonky. We'll touch and go. The weather's and speaking of weather, it's supposed to apparently it's supposed to get another nor'easter. Well, tomorrow night I think it starts in the afternoon is what they're saying, and um, yeah, crazy winds and uh, I don't know the accumulation might be around ten centimeters, maybe give or take, but mm -hmm. um, a lot of winds. So yeah. expect some power outages. I'm sure as you if you live in Halifax, you know how the city is. If the uh, if the sun comes out the wrong way, the power goes out. This is true. So I mean, be prepared for uh, for that situation. Yeah, cause I, I know the power went out on Friday, last Friday. A couple of my friends' uh, uh, power went out. Right. And yeah, well, as long as everyone's safe, that's the main point. Get your storm food and just hunker down, people. It's March break too, so there's no not taking kids to school or anything. So that will help. You know, people off the roads and stuff, but exactly. Be safe, my people. Yeah. Uh, how was your weekend? Uh, it was good. It was good. 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 Hit the uh, hit the. <laughs> was up in the revolution, so we just. Okay. Uh, it was a good night. It was a lot of fun. Nice. Uh, shout out to uh, G, uh, Kin Crew, and also uh, Phil, the man. Put on a good set. I'm very impressed. Nice. Yeah. What about you? You had the uh, we, bumping and grinding. The bumping and grinding, as it, was, it were. It was a good time. Uh, it was good. We see saw a lot of new faces, which was great. Uh, great, good. great crowd. A lot of people came out to nice. dance. Also ran into uh, my old supervisors uh, at one of my first jobs. Really? Yeah. They came up to me, and they're like, we're here to see you. I was like, oh, wow. Okay. How was that? It was interesting. Is that awkward a situation? No, it wasn't awkward. Just interesting. <laughs> anyway, they were dancing. It was overall a great night. A great uh, evening of fun. A great evening of a fun. Of bumping and grinding. And uh, speaking of fun, we got a great show lined up for you, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And without further ado, do you want to do the roll call now or after? Uh, why don't you do the topics? And then we'll do and the then roll, we'll do call. roll call. People are jumping on right now. So fair enough, uh, ladies and gentlemen. If this is your first time tuning in to Talk of Trends, we just talk about uh, interesting topics from around the world, and we bring them to the comfort of your home. Yeah. And we would like to hear your opinion on such subjects as these. Costco now offering a six thousand dollar doomsday meal plan. Uh, yeah, I can see that. It's not too bad. Why not? Costco has everything. Why not a doomsday meal plan? I, I totally agree. Right. Uh, up next, Tony's going to talk about this this lady who who drugged kids <laughs> just to go tanning. Yeah, she's a winner, people. But she's going to pay the price. Speaking about paying the price, uh, this lady, back to back ladies, yeah, being charged. Uh, Double trouble. This this lady being charged for the third time uh, for hiring to kill a hitman to kill her husband, or sorry, ex husband. And his lover. And finally, back in the news again, like it's 1995. Can't wait. OJ Simpson. He's back. He this, never really left. This guy just cannot dude. leave it alone. It's just like, oh. And he just, it's, it's, an, it's a weird uh, story that never seems to die for some reason. He likes to keep it alive. I feel bad for the family. Are the Goldman family? Yeah, yeah, I really do I as feel, well. I feel bad for his kids. Anybody associated yeah, with the, the whole system. thing is the whole thing is crazy. Yeah. Uh, welcome T. Wu in the house. Lauren, Carrie, Mark, uh, Mac, Jacob, Vincent. Oh, Vincent's in the house. <laughs> Mister, what's his name now? The Golden Knight. The Golden Knight. Yes, sir. Uh, Jeanette and Gail. Thank you guys for joining us. We'll have more jumping on here as I continue my invites. Nice. Yeah. Uh, without further ado, as Tony continues his uh, invite spree, mm. I'm going to talk about this current thing happening at. Coffee. Costco. Costco. What's it? What's it called again? Costco. Oh, yes. Uh, like so place. Costco is selling a $6,000 doomsday meal kit. So Whoa. if you've ever fretted about uh, what to snack on during the apocalypse. I have. Yes. <laughs> Costco, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, has you covered. The wholesale superstore has rolled out a $6,000 food kit featuring 36,000 servings of foods that can feed an entire family of four for one year. Wow. Right. I like it. So it says, enjoy the comfort in knowing you have the essential foods your family will need to survive an emergency or natural disaster. 
Okay. Yeah. Uh, offering roughly 2,000 calories a day per person and a shelf life up to 25 years for the freeze-dried items. Um, that seems like a long time to me. What, 25 years? Yeah. That is a long time. Isn't it? For food. Well, no. it's canned. A lot of it's canned. Yeah, I guess so. So from elbow macaroni pasta to instant milk, so that would last quite some time, dehydrated potatoes, beef, chicken, uh, and f- as well as freeze-dried uh, green beans, dehydrated apples, and a mysterious butter powder. <laughs> Uh, the kit certainly uh, offers culinary creativity in its sheer size. Uh, nice. Costco further sweetens the deal by including shipping and handling in the $6,000 price tag. Whoa, whoa. So delivering the 1800 package straight to your door, um, packaged discreetly for privacy and shipping. I'm trying to picture how this is packaged, like, secretly. Dude, how's it going to be discreet? And discreet. It's got to be like a pallet of food. More than a pallet of food. <laughs> <laughs> How are they going to bring it to you? Like a piece by piece? That's what I mean. I hope wow. you have like a backyard, maybe a back entrance. I don't Hopefully know how they're going to be. forklift, first of all. Yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> mid- middle of the night, you just hear all this commotion. It's just, the yeah. yeah, they sneak in the back door. So, I mean, I, it's, it's. Do you like this? A piece of me does. Because you know uh, why? Yeah. The whole meal prep in me likes this. Because I don't have to go to the grocery store for a year. Forget about the doomsday. Forget about just the get it for your meal prep. Listen, there's a nor'easter coming. You might. I need, might have to. I might have to order this tonight. You might need this kit. Amazon Prime. Is that what it is? I don't know. Can Amazon Prime get this to me? I don't think they do Costco's though. Oh goddamn. Uh, uh, so anyway, I might have to make a trip to Costco. Yeah. Order this up. We could split it. We could. If we'll you survive want. six months. No, it's uh, for four. For four. <laughs> I'm so good. We're good to go. Yeah. Where the hell are you gonna put all this? Well, that's a, that's another story. Oh my God! Like listen, you need... the, the discreetly delivered to my door. Yeah, the discreetly. We need a. <laughs> don't you need a bomb shelter first? Isn't no. that the first move before you? Because the food's not going to do you any good if you're uh, if you're dead if you're nuked. That's true. Plus, don't you need like uh, some sort of uh, uh, to prep this stuff? We need something to heat it up or. Well, I think it's it's it feels like it's remi- it reminds me of like space food. Or it's right. kind of like you open it and it's just good to go. It's you open the good. can. I mean, you got the dehydrated like milk, so all you do is just add water. Add water to and you're good to go. And the potatoes. You ever have de- uh, dehydrated potatoes? I've never had de- dehydrated potatoes. No. Interesting. You it, have? It, yeah. And? In, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference if it like they're really? they're only mashed, right? You're not going to form them into like a baked potato sort of situation. Of course, yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. You wouldn't be able to tell the. difference. You can't tell the difference. If I were to give, if close. I were to give you the, like I two, uh, I don't think you could, man. I don't okay. know. It's All interesting. Right. I believe you. But uh, I mean, it's this is awesome. I, if like the electric grid went down for some like very long like set of time, why can't these be shipped out to Puerto Rico? Ooh, they still don't question. have power that's in some areas. Question. That's a good question. Uh, Puerto Rico has been a huge problem for many. When did this happen? Like. I was like Eight October, months. October, was it October. So I feel like, like yeah, yeah, okay, it's like six months or this something. This would be the perfect uh, situation true. for this. Just drop ship that stuff. And then I, f- on further digging, I was like, oh, that's a nice uh, meal kit, Costco. There's another meal kit that feeds uh, twenty people for one year. Whoa! Um, offered by offered by Walmart. You can Walmart's go. Walmart's got to get in the game. I go, like it. Yeah, you can go to Walmart.com and you type in Augustin Farm Mega Emergency, A U G A S O N. Augustine, and it's just it looks like a massive pallet of food. Can you imagine how big that would be for twenty people? Twenty people for one year. Oh my god, it's big, huge. I don't know. Don't I th- isn't it taking advantage a little bit of the people? Isn't it taking advantage a little bit? I mean, I get the whole doomsday thing, but it's kind of like when they did the bomb shelters back in the sixties. They're selling bomb shelters to everybody out there, mm. and these guys were buying them, spending a lot of money on these bomb shelters that they never actually used. Well, that's it's kind of like insurance, Tony. Yeah, I guess it is. You know, you're paying a, a little premium for for an if or maybe. You mm. don't know if it's gonna happen, but it'd be nice if you're 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 covered if it does. I like this idea much better than the bomb shelter thing because this is practical. You can still eat it. It can be used. Um, and it's practical for if there's a tornado, a hurricane, mm. these things that do happen. I like it. Okay. That's not a bad investment for six grand. For six thousand dollars and for a whole year? shipping and handling? Buddy. I'm in. That's, we should that's split what, that. <laughs> see, just should, to see what it looks like. We should go on a split. We'll just store it here at the studio. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just to see what it looks like. Is it in, in Canada too? No. Uh I'm not sure. I oh. can find out though. I'm in. Oh, Foss says uh how big is the, how much is the Walmart one? It was twenty grand? Twenty thousand dollars for the Walmart one. 
Twenty thousand for the Walmart one, but that serves twenty people for a year. Twenty people, so, so that's it's five like, times bigger than the other one. It's not that bad when it when you break it down. If you were to break it down, for sure, that's a good deal, no uh, doubt. It, uh, Let's get it. it Who's said, in people? It says the 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 Costco one. Yeah, br- averages out to seventeen cents per portion. Really? <laughs> yeah. That sounds about right. Three meals a day. Three meals a day. Four people. Four. For 365 days. I think that's... You can't beat that now. No. We should have to be our grocery shopping for the whole year. Dude. I'm telling you. We're done. We don't have to mess with anything. But, dude, that stuff is so sodium. Listen. (laughs) Let's not ruin it. Let's not ruin it. All right. You can't get any healthy stuff, but you can survive. No. With this. Up next. Yes. Tony likes tanning. I enjoy the occasional tan. I've been known to enjoy the occasional (laughs) tan on all over my body. Mm. Uh, But you should do it, and you probably shouldn't do it when you're watching some kids. This lady uh, was so desperate and hell bent on getting a tan on. Getting that that GTL. Listen, she had to do what you got to do. So, uh, this lady, uh, her name is January Netherland. Uh Uh, Nice name. Nice. Age 32, has been running an illegal childcare operation. (laughs) (laughs) So, number one, illegal childcare operation. That's first thing. First things first. Such a beautiful name. Not Uh, even legal, number one. So, what do you do, uh, January? (laughs) I run an illegal childcare service. That's what you do, uh, called Little Giggles. <laughs> I, I don't know. For approximately four years, four years, that's pretty good, uh, pled guilty to 11 counts wow. of first-degree criminal mistreatment and one count of third-degree assault, according to courts. Uh, according to the courts. Uh, she has also lied to parents about being a registered nurse, even though she had no such qualifications. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> based like, on... Do you think that people aren't going to check uh, this stuff out? I mean, she did this for four years. Nobody checked her out. This Isn't is there like a list of things you can go check the daycare? Who's registered as a daycare? She's not on the list. So, uh, anyway, uh, based on tips provided from her former boyfriend and a former roommate. See them exes? They always get you. Wow. Uh, so they surveilled uh, uh, Netherlin uh, last March and saw her leave the house twice while she was supposed to be watching seven children. <laughs> Oh she drove to her kid. Uh, she dro- sorry. She drove her kids to school on the first trip. On the second one, police found her at a local tan republic. The children who st- <laughs> children who have been left uh, in her care were left in her care during those excursions had the sleep aid melatonin yes. in their system, according to sentencing. So she drugged them basically. The- for those who don't know, Melatonin, you should break that down to, for us. You're yes. supposed to take this if you have uh, really bad problems, like trying to get to bed. Uh, right. A lot of people do it right before adults. Should I? I, I like to say adults take this before bed if they they're having uh, issues going to bed. Uh, yes. I mean, if you're having pain, discomfort, or yep. just pure, uh, just anxiety, you take a little uh, melatonin and you put your your big ass to sleep. Get your sleep on. Uh, you can only imagine the effects it has on kids. There's much smaller, obviously. So the doses, and I mean, she's not authorized it's, to dose she's this. She's not out authorized. For she's not a pharmacist. She's oh not my even God. A, a nurse. No, no, nothing. No training at all. Uh, so basically, <laughs> yeah, it's nothing. Netherland uh, had been telling parents that they could they couldn't pick up or drop off their kids between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. Police checked CrossFit and Tan Republic records to find that's where she would be at those times, mm-hmm. as she referred to it as nap time. Uh, so anyway, uh, the child, uh, sorry, uh, also reports that a child in Netherlands care was once sent to uh, Portland hospital with multiple head injuries. Jesus. That's where the assault comes in and that she admitted to overheating a bottle of milk, giving young children the burns. Oh so she got, God. this kid got burned. So this lady is just full of it. Uh, since her arrest last March, Netherlands has approached uh, other inmates and asked them, uh, to claim that they had worked for her. So she also wrote letters to former inmates asking for bail money, promised to pay them back from offshore accounts worth, quote-unquote, a lot of money. Uh, rap sheet dates back to 2007. She was charged with multiple instances of theft, identity theft. She just, anyway, the list goes this on. This lady is a, she's nuts. a, a jack um, of all trades. Yeah, so she's looking at a potential 35-year sentence Wow. Uh, for all a said crimes, which is insane. Um, anyway. Watch who you leave your child with, people. Because someone, <laughs> I mean, I would assume there's supposed to be some sort of a cross list that you can go check to see are you a registered a daycare? Are you legal? Well, that's what you usually do, I would you think. You would think so, man. This is nuts. I mean, what a, God forbid one of them died. I mean, that's what I'm saying. Good Lord, yeah. man. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah. Like, what? It seems that this stuff has uh, accumulated for quite some time. 
from yep. the the burning milk to the drugging the kids. Just a whole bunch of stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, one of our viewers here, Fof, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Some parents put a jug of gasoline under the crib so they fall asleep. Oh. I've been known to do that. I didn't even know that was a thing. What up, boy? Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, she's going away for a very, very long time. I don't see, uh, and with the list that she has, about 35 years, it sounds about right. Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes you got to get your tan on. Yeah. But you might want to do it while you're watching other people's children. Shouts out to Fof, too. Yeah. They dig me and dig me. Dig, 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 dig. Oh, is he from Digby? Hey. <laughs> you got the reach, baby. Listen, famous line. I need to get shirts made from it. So, oh, here we go. Um, so yeah, anyway. That's, that's interesting. It. Yeah, it's not a pleasant situation. Up next, this old grandma. Granny. Out here getting in. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> this, is, this is a good one. Here this we go. Utah woman found guilty of yeah. trying to hire a hitman charged with the same crime for a third time. Mm. A Utah woman on trial for trying to hire a hitman to kill her ex-husband. See, the ex? Anybody got an ex out there? Watch you, your back. You got to watch your back. All right? If you've done, you done them really wrong. Come on. Time to watch your back. Wow. You better send a, a Hallmark card their way saying, listen, I apologize. I forgive you. I don't know what hey. else I could say, but I'm sorry. Leave on what they call a amicable yeah, terms. Yeah, exactly. Don't piss off. Yeah, don't leave it bad. Anyway. <sighs> Uh, so yeah. Anyway, she yeah, was. Uh, she we tried, digress. She tried to hire a hitman to kill her ex-husband, and she was charged for a third time with attempting to get someone to kill more of her enemies. Jeez. Linda, baby girl, yep. uh, seventy, was charged Friday with trying to hire a hitman about three weeks ago. The charges came the same day a jury found her guilty on one count of criminal solicitation for attempting to hire a man who also rents a condominium for her to arrange to have her husband. Uh, Mr. Gilman killed. That was last year. Uh, Gilman paid the man $5,000 to have her ex-husband and his current wife, not even the husband, this wow. lady was like, you know what? That bitch can get she it too. She gets to go too. Hey, is that swearing? <laughs> All right, if you guys don't know, every time we swear on the show for this month of March, if you swear, if you can't say it in church, that's swearing, you gotta do 10 push-ups. And I forgot to say it in the beginning, but I'm glad that you said it. That calls for 10 push-ups. Get that, uh, you got the cam on it? Oh, he's got the cam on. So here we go, guys. Ten push-ups from TK. Every time we swear on the show in March, that's what it is. One, let's go, baby. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice. How do you feel now, big guy? How do you feel now, big guy? Uh, is the B word a swear word? You can't say Sometimes. that in church. You can't say that in church. I suppose. You don't see the reverend up there. <laughs> saying, cursing on. people up and down. That's All right, continue. <laughs> So, yeah, not good enough to get the guy. You have to go get the uh, gotta B, get, the B, as you said. You got to get the the girl as well. Get the, <sighs> the wifey's got to go, too. I was just trying to add a little bit more emotion to this. I like it, stuff. man. I want to do the same thing. I just don't want to do push-ups. Ah, fair enough. So she allegedly promised to give the man $100,000 once the two people were dead, and she was able to collect on her husband's life insurance. So we were wondering where the money was coming from. There it is. Life insurance. I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of weird, though. Why? You would think the ex-husband, since he's with somebody else, he'd be like, I'm taking my last person off the will. If I'm with you all of a sudden, Tony, right. I'm going to say you're on my will instead of my ex. Right. Shouldn't you do that? Yeah. Unless if we have kids or something together. But in that case, my kids would be on the will, not the... But she looks much older, though. I don't, doesn't, their kids are probably grown and gone, right? I don't know. I have no idea what they're... Or maybe they didn't have any kids. Maybe they just were having sex. Mm. Bad sex, apparently. Sick, sick in that. Yeah, exactly. Well, apparently she looks really upset in that in that picture. Uh, yeah, my father says she just looks like she doesn't give a f. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, she really doesn't actually. She looks like uh, whatever. I don't care. Uh, so let me see. The story continues. The seventy-year-old, uh, however, didn't let that deter her from attempting to wipe out all her enemies while in jail. She's like a boss calling it from the jail. She's a little kingpin. Man. Uh, she tried to get another inmate to murder the man who she initially hired to kill her <laughs> husband. Double agent. Right? Wow. She's trying to take out the snitch now. Dude, she is cold hearted. <laughs> what is her background? Like she has a, uh, she has a no, rap sheet? I have no she idea. She just snapped all of a sudden. Uh, so Gibbon referred to herself as the bank and said that she could make anything and everything happen. Wow. She is a boss. She is a boss. Jeez. H-B-I-C. 
Okay. <laughs> I, I didn't say it out. So head in charge. Uh, Gilman uh, allegedly said she, she would be a free woman if the man was killed, adding to that if it would make all her dreams come true. Whoa. She's just like nuts. Uh, so she was charged with attempted obstruction of justice, but her case was dismissed because of problems with the witnesses. Damn, she's paying off witnesses oh my too? God. Oh, she's just having them knocked off next. So in her, in her last <laughs> attempt to hire a hitman, Gilman wanted a witness and an attorney killed. Oh my God, like she's not stopping. <laughs> Everybody's on the hit list. <laughs> Authorities thwarted her plot when they caught Gilman attempting to send another $155,000 in a check. She's got major cash, this lady, too. She had lined up an individual who would take, take out the witness yep. and, in addition, asked to have an attorney killed in opposing civil action against her that she had lost. Wow. So this, this lady. She, she's something else. And here's the thing. Yep. Like the other story you just talked about. Yes. They need to start investigating this lady's life. You just don't all of a sudden start hiring people to kill kill ex-lovers, lawyers, and and witnesses. You wouldn't think so. You you don't you just think you just so. don't do this when you're 70 years old. You wouldn't think so. You just wake up one day and you go, eh, I'm going to knock off everybody." You have I'm a sick of everyone. you have a history of doing this. I guarantee you if they start digging into her past, there'll probably be more stories of such nature, may maybe even other bodies. Dude, she looks like a sweet old lady. She looks like the She looks upset in that picture obviously, but you well, know, she you got, would be she too got if you caught. Got caught. Yeah, 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 totally. You know, I don't know. Maybe she got grandkids and stuff. Who knows? That's Granny, right? Granny knocking off everybody. She don't even care. Gran Granny is no joke. They Ladies can't. and gentlemen, don't underestimate the senior citizen. She looked a little cold hearted in her eyes. Though. I ain't gonna lie. She don't. She looks real cold behind those eyes. Yeah, she does. There, there is no soul. A soulless woman. Soulless woman. Well, you know what? She got caught. Yeah. And that's the important thing. Speaking about getting caught and, and not getting caught. Speaking of soulless people. Finally wrapping up today on Talking Trends, O.J. Simpson is back in the news. He doesn't seem to leave the news. Always a little bit of story here and there with O.J., but uh, this is pretty big. This is trending pretty hard right now. Um, this is an interview that O.J. How, did. How hard, Tony? How hard is this trending? Easy, killer, easy. Uh, so we know the O.J. Simpson, uh, well, I shouldn't say the murder, but. Uh, <laughs> you could say it. You, yeah, he's a murderer. Listen, straight up, he's a murderer. <laughs> Nicole uh, Simpson and Ron Goldman, of course, were killed 24 years ago mm -hmm. uh, when O.J. Uh, uh, went to trial and was acquitted of all charges did not get and was not found guilty of the murders even though there was evidence in the whole thing anyway you can go back and find all that stuff recently uh, actually 2006 he did an interview uh with fox and uh <laughs> they didn't air it they wanted to, they had to wait because the goldman uh family was threatening to sue it was a whole thing because yes. he continues to cash in on these murders uh writing books doing interviews appearances all the stuff based solely on the you know how famous isn't he got it that. sad that he's more famous off of this crazy situation absolutely. than he is off of his football career absolutely it's a crazy yeah it's so crazy the way that is um so fox aired they recently aired last week uh the oj simpson called uh, this interview called the lost confession which essentially he's confessing in this interview uh he starts talking to a, <laughs> it literally says it in the title it's ridiculous the lost and he knew the title the lost confession oh now this is the, you can't be tried for, uh, in the states you can't be tried for the same uh crime twice it's called double jeopardy he knows this so he's pretty much able to say anything he wants now he says it every every time he's talking about it in the interview he's saying hypothetical just to keep it just to make sure right. he's okay yeah he starts by talking about his friend charlie who he claims committed the murders but he was there for some reason with Charlie. So Charlie's like a figment of his imagination, apparently. <laughs> this guy, there's no Charlie. It doesn't exist. So he starts off by talking about his friend Charlie, who he, who he says for some reason went, for some reason, went to Nicole's to snoop around. He says Charlie came over to the Simpson home, uh, told him what he was going, what was going on, and Simpson responded, whatever's going on, it's got to stop. Unfortunately, um, uh, yes, so Simpson says, hypothetically, he and Charlie drove to Nicole's okay. with a cap, glove, and knife <laughs> under the seat. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's ridiculous, and parked in the alley. Uh, Simpson says he walked around the property, and Ron Goldman appeared, uh, saying he was, at the, he, was at, he was at a restaurant where Nicole dined and was returning sunglasses uh, that uh, was left behind. Uh, Simpson says he got angry at Ron. 
So he's there. He's the one getting angry. There's no Charlie there. <laughs> Presumably thinking he <laughs> I can't was, wait to see when Charlie comes out. Oh, my God. Presumably thinking he was on a date with Nicole and started screaming at him. Nicole came out. Things got heated. She told OJ, OJ to get the F off her property. And what was that, Tony? I, I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Get the fudge off my property. And then he says Nicole fell and hurt herself. Oh boy. She fell. Yeah. Just fell. Uh, in fact, he swung the knife at her and hit her in the face with a blunt end. Uh, now the confession, Simpson loses uh, the hypo. So no more hypothetical. Okay. He's speaking very clearly now. And you guys can go check this out. This is very recent. Wow. Undeliably in first person saying Ron, uh, Ron Goldman, uh, got in a karate stance, he says. <laughs> OJ responded. He did take karate, apparently. There you go. I do. I, um, it was documented that he did take karate. Yeah. Anyway. So, quote unquote, uh, when he got in the karate stance, OJ responded, "You think you can kick my ass?" Fair. Oh, Tony. Tony, you can't. Is that not a swear word? You can't say that in church, my friend. Are you sure it's not an animal? Ladies and gentlemen, Bloody. you cannot say the a word in can church. You? If you, you can't. can't say it in church, my friend, that's a push up. Ladies and gentlemen, Tony McCool, gonna give us some push-ups. Yeah, yeah, go down. Aww. Yeah, bang them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Oh yeah. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're one for one today. Yeah, we're even. I don't feel yeah, left yeah, out. Still, ah, that was good. Not a good, not a good day for me. That's good. Anyway, continue I on. I see my shot now. I was doing those pretty good. <laughs> Should have got those for Instagram. Oh, there you go. Uh, I'll send the video to you later. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, he said what he said. Uh, you think you can kick my A. Uh, as he says, he says, I remember. And then he says, I remember I grabbed the knife. Oh, yeah. Um, and then eventually he checks himself when he realizes he's talking in the first person uh, and, and actually starts laughing. Seriously. Wow. Um, so, yeah, he just he realizes he's talking about himself now, and he goes, whoa. And he starts actually laughing, which is ridiculous. Um, so that's the deal. Go check that interview out. And he goes on about, you know, just he, he, at that point, he stops talking about hypothetical situations and then starts talking about himself. And he's crazy. He's talking about stalking her. Like, people claim that she, he was stalking her. He says, no, I wasn't stalking her. He said, you know, I, I, one particular incident, he talks about going to a restaurant opening. He went there. He was there with a bunch of friends. She was there with a bunch of friends. He claims he talked to her there briefly. And then he also says that, yeah, you know, I left the restaurant and then I went to her house, just drove by her house. You know, I just wanted to see if she was around. Maybe I can get some. This is after they separated. Oh, my God. And he says, yeah, I went up to the door and I could see the two people were doing something. He goes, I don't know what they were doing. And he says, uh, I, I banged on the door twice and I left. He goes, that's not stalking. I just swung by there. It's like, dude, that's exactly stalking. <laughs> you've just defined stalking, bro. Like, you've done it. <laughs> so, uh, obviously, <laughs> it's ridiculous. He's so delusional. He doesn't even know what's stalking. Like, he's just like totally. He has no grip on reality at this point. He doesn't care. Clearly someone, yeah. he's getting money for almost shame on these networks. You know what the, yeah. the family of Nicole should do? They should yes. start suing the networks. If you can't sue OJ at this point, yeah, unless if they're getting uh, paid on top of uh, this as well. We don't know, I guess. Yeah, yeah that's a good point, too. Because I mean, they brought, uh, you would think, okay, listen, here's the situation, guys. We're going to interview OJ again about the whole thing. Yeah. Bring up some memories, da, 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 da. but we're going to pay you. Or I don't know. Yeah. Again, I don't know how this situation works. And that being said, they sh I mean, if they didn't, if they weren't approached to for OJ to do these interviews, then man, yeah. I would be suing like crazy for these networks. I think that's, that's a good point. I think that's why they don't. I, I think they attempt to threaten to sue. And that's why like this interview hasn't been shown in 12 years. It was never aired oh, right. because yeah. that threat was there. I don't know why they wouldn't just refile a, some sort of a suit against the um, against Fox, but yeah, because you said like the whole double jeopardy kind of thing. I guess, yeah. So. Um, but uh, yeah, so Karen, uh, Karen chimes in. She goes, "This is hilarious, you guys. I'd be doing push-ups nonstop. I swear, like a trucker." Well, <laughs> we normally do too sometimes, but you know, when you got to do push-ups, you kind of shut your mouth up a little bit. <laughs> uh, Julie says, "I didn't realize double jeopardy was a thing. Crazy, he can't actually he can actually get away with that." Like you said, so yeah, I mean, right now he can speak. Here's the problem: I feel bad for the Goldman family. This guy has profited 
I mean, he, he wrote a book, and that's why that interview originally interview, interview happened was it was the book if I did it or exactly if, this, I, had if, if I had done it. This is how it would this it, is how it would, yeah. details let's, like details. Let's get the name of the book exactly. Yeah, let's get that on. that title there. So that was like he's profiting off of it constantly. The books, the interviews, the appearances, constantly making money off of, mind you, his wife's murder, making money off his wife's murder, yeah. off of the mother of his children that, that he killed. Ex exactly. And he's going to go out and he's profiting. It's ridiculous. Yeah. This the, guy is disgusting. Man. Yeah, O.J. Simpson, if I did it, confessions of the killer. Um, Dude, this guy is a scumbag. I don't know that there's any more uh, a scumbag person or a low life than O.J. Simpson. Sorry, I'm but just, I mean, a guy who commits murder, he k kills his own wife, leaves his children without a mother, and then after that goes and profits. We're always saying, "Listen, O.J., lay low." That's the thing. The, the fact <laughs> that like, the, the guy, okay, he he served some jail time for well, not even for that that crime. He, he for, served jail time for for a kidnapping, kidnapping. and uh, for trying to get his own memorabilia back. Yep. You would think, okay, l time to relax. I'm sixty plus now. Yeah. Uh, and I get out of jail. He, let me just chill. He I gets, had a good life. He gets a pension from NFL, which we talked about, twenty five thousand a month. Still gets a pension from the NFL. Yeah, and, and on top of whatever all else, whatever he, else. he else he he continues to make from the whole the murder, but no, he does he sits there and contemplates like you know what I'm gonna go out gambling I'm gonna go to these casinos get kicked out of casinos now, yeah, and continue to like make headlines. I'm like, dude, it's 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 disgusting you, on a whole new. Yeah, level, he's man. almost just rubbing it in in the faces uh, uh, exactly of the victims. It it, I mean, the same thing could be talked about Casey 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 Anthony. Who you know? She went to trial in Florida, Florida, of course, for uh, allegedly uh, killing her two-year-old or two, three-year-old daughter. Yeah. Now listen, Casey Anthony was acquitted. Yeah. They proved beyond a shadow of a doubt she didn't do it. Now, even though a lot of people think that she still did do it, so very similar in this, you know, kind of similar yeah. vibe. Guess what? You don't see Casey Anthony anywhere. Go try to find her. You can't find her. If they find a rare sighting of her. She is does not acknowledge the camera. Does not try to make it fan. Doesn't do anything to get. Her. She's totally gone nope. off the face of the earth right now. Um, this this guy doesn't get it. No, it's like know, you, you you have that moment where it's kind of like you're teaching the kid to not put the hand on the stove. And in OJ's case, he's just touch keeps on touching the stove. Dude. He's just like he already home, got he's burned. Like, and he's like, like Homer Simpson. Doesn't care. Just doesn't understand. And and on top of that, he also is – so she, Casey Anthony, not making any money. This guy just makes money on every opportunity he can in relation to his wife's murder. It's absolutely ludicrous, man. And, yeah. and how bad do you feel for his kids? Exactly. His kids got to see him flaunting around, doing these interviews, talking like in this interview as if he did it, like saying, this is what right. happened. I took the knife. and It's like – Holy crap, dude! You did, yeah. Oh there's probably God. stuff like th that's the thing. You're probably gonna listen to this interview, and then there's gonna be some cross re cross reference probably to the trial where like, yep. oh man, we didn't even think about that detail that wasn't even said. How would he uh, come up with that? Yeah, insane, man. It's just oh, it's just like man. What do you do? What yeah. do you do? I don't know. Uh, Sheldon says OJ uh, will be a judge on a dancing competition show before the end of the year, dude. There's no network in their right mind. Fox. I like the point, but I'll Fox. tell you, Fox might do it. <laughs> yeah, Fox got they, no shame. They, they aired this. Apparently, Fox got no shame. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fox, listen, if you're listening, Dancing on the Stars is on Fox, I think, or it's on ABC. I don't yeah. remember. Whoever has a show on Fox, you know what? Throw it at OJ. He'll probably do it. You know what? At this point, Tony. Make sure you pay him. I'm not. I, that's not even that far-fetched. It's not far-fetched. With OJ. The fact that he's he's able to to do as much as we've seen so far for 2018 yeah. since he's been released, it. Well, I mean, uh, Sasha, uh, who played Borat, yes, he offered he gave him money to. I'm not sure if this movie's going to come out. Yes, I remember listening to it on a radio show. So for those uh, who don't know, uh, the the actor I can't remember his full name, uh, Sasha Sasha Baron Cohen. I think so. Yeah. Thank you. Um, he paid OJ. I think twenty thousand dollars plus. Yes, for a potential new movie that he's working on. Yep. And yeah, I mean, clearly he's still in public interest. Very I think much. maybe he's just putting himself out there to be like, 
again, it's just the the constant rubbing it in the family's face and everybody else yeah. connected to him who he may have like said, I'm sorry to, yeah. I, I mean, this is a yeah. horrible time. I'm sorry for putting everybody through this. Yeah. And then to come out on the other end, you know, again, getting kicked out of casinos, confess okay. these confessions, taking pictures with all these women. I'm just like, dude, like you just don't, I don't know. Just, you know, let it go, man. Like. Be with your family. Fade, fade into the darkness. Just don't just be seen. But uh, the problem with OJ, and we see over and over, he likes to be in the spotlight. Yeah. He was a football player, Hall of Fame guy, very popular. But you know what, man? You just right now, you shouldn't be profiting off of this. This is absolutely disgusting. Yeah. So uh, I don't know, man. He, just, he never ceases to amaze us. That's for sure. But this interview couldn't have been more of a confession Speaking than him sitting there going, I actually killed my wife. Like, <laughs> this is basically a, you, I implore you, go watch this thing. It's ridiculous. I'm going to watch it. And he's laughing. During the interview, he's laughing. Insane. It's crazy. Yeah. Anyway, OJ, suck it. You, you definitely played yourself, OJ. Big time played yourself, man. Just go, you know, go somewhere, man. Yeah. Uh, well, ladies and gentlemen, thank <clears> you for <throat> tuning in to another episode of Talking Trends. We do yeah. this Monday to Friday from 5 o'clock to 5.30-ish. Mm -hmm. We're a little bit late starting today. Apologies. But yes. tomorrow we will be on time. Uh, thank you, everybody, again, for tuning in. Uh, graphics provided by Car Productions. Mm -hmm. If you need any of these fancy kind of graphics for... Anything, the anything best, you need, best. hit him up. Hit Chris up. Yeah, he'll uh, he'll do you right. Yeah, he'll take care of you. Yeah, uh, we'll be back tomorrow, uh, five o'clock. Yeah, hopefully. And weather pending. Weather pending. We'll get here. No, you know what? We're pretty good with the weather. Yeah, we're not too bad. We're supposed to get a bad one tomorrow, but um, we will be here five o'clock. Uh, tune in once again. We're also gonna have a couple guests this week, so we'll figure all that out. Exactly. Yeah. Hopefully, announce the guests tomorrow. Yeah. And yeah be a good time be a wicked time ladies and gentlemen if you feel that you want us to talk about a story that would be either hilarious or just good to talk about send us a message or send us a link to the story and uh it'd be greatly appreciated we'd the, love your feedback on that the tanning daycare woman that was actually sent to me by somebody so thank you out there i think it was there, laura there that sent it. thank you for that thank you peace everybody have a good evening have a good evening ladies and gentlemen be safe, be safe. <laughs>